What is up everybody, it is King Kunta, and today I have another World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys. Now I recently just got a like entire microphone set up so hopefully the quality should sound great right now, but uh, that's not what the farm's about. Today we're going to be teaching you how you can make literally upwards of like, I don't want to throw a number on it because I feel like if I do then people are going to expect it. But the value of items that you can pull out of this uh, little like area right here is just insane. Like you can get tons upon tons of gold worth of transmog items super quick in this like super simple farm. So I'm going to show you exactly where we're at. Now this um, by no means is a new farm. It is definitely not a new farm. But it is a farm that people kind of are forgetting about. And that it's the, the perfect time to go ahead and do a farm like this. Because as soon as Battle for Azeroth comes out. You can get kind of expect to sell off a ton of your transmog gear. So we are located in Thousand Needles. Which is in Kalimdor. Uh, as you can see here. Um, and right here we're going to be entering this little den right here. Uh, if you can see where I am at on the map, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys, I am right here, right in front of this uh, little den. So, the interesting fact about this farm is the fact that these mobs literally, like, respawn instantly. So fast. And their loot table is insane. You can get so many different transmog items. Like, I, I, I'll show you the wowhead loot table right now. Like, I'll put it on the screen. This is what it looks like. It's it's just giant. And uh, some of the more notable items that you can get are things like the plans for the steel weapon chain that uh, on average on Wowhead right now are selling for about 67,000 gold. Uh, but on my server they're selling for about 17. Again, I'm on a high pop server, so what can I really do about that? But all we're going to do is we're going to enter this cave and uh, we're just going to really run through the entire thing with some kind of speed enhancement or something uh, along those lines. And we're just going to auto loot everything as soon as we can auto loot. Just that's all you have to do. Now, honestly, if you bring bear tartar, it's kind of a must. Uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like without it. But once you go ahead and pop bear tartar, it is just 100% easier. Um, I know they said they nerfed it and everything in BFA, but I mean, it still gives you the speed boost, so that's all I really have ever used it for, and that's all I can ever think anybody's ever really used it for anyways. And, uh, so you don't even need to run out and, like, wait for these mobs to respawn or anything like that, because their respawn timer is, like, borderline instant. You literally just run these circles forever, basically. As long as you possibly can, you want to be running that. And, oh my gosh, look at that! Just like that, in the video! <laughs> As you can see, uh, we got a piece of salt stone, which is actually one of the items I was going to talk about. You can get a ton of salt stone transmog gear. Uh, you can get things like salt stone like chains that are selling for like, I think they're about 20,000 gold in the auction house. That's according to Wowhead, of course. Um, but as you can see here, it literally, what, I want to say the sixth mob in, we already got a drop. And it, this, in, or not instance, this location is just like that constantly. Uh, the reason the people are buying these kind of mogs that drop off these guys are because mainly they're slut mogs. That's that's really what it comes down to is uh, there's, there's just a lot of slut mogs. You don't, that guy doesn't drop anything. So if you kill the boss, just don't even worry about it. It's literally just running a big circle like this. But yes, most of the items are slut mog and uh, a lot of the plans are uh, kind of hard to obtain. Uh, through other means so this is definitely the best way to get them you may have a little bit of competition if you are on a high pop server I am on a high pop server and I do have a little bit of competition but I wouldn't say it's too extreme as you can see there's no one really here now um, and I'm just kind of just running it you know to the full extent by my own and uh, no one's really bothered me yet uh, if there is I I mean I don't really expect there to be maybe after I post this video and you're watching it there might be a little bit of competition but definitely go ahead and check out your markets uh, this, I'm not going to lie, this is one of those farms that people are probably going to be kind of mad that I'm showing to the public right now, but, you know, I'm trying to help you guys out too. So, uh, as you can see here, it's literally just running around in circles with some kind of speed boost, just constantly. And they, they respawn so fast, so that it literally takes nothing to just run around and just hit them endlessly. Um, people have been doing this farm for a long time, so you can expect the prices to be a little bit lower, but um, they're not going to be super low to the point that, like, it's not a good idea to farm it. It's definitely a great idea to farm this, especially now, because as soon as you put all this stuff on the auction house, I just expect that with, uh, you know, Battle for Azeroth uh, releasing quite shortly, that you should just get them sold off super quickly. Uh, as you can see here, I recommend having a druid or something along the lines of a monk, obviously, because they're going to have the uh, biggest speed buffs. And uh, after you go ahead and get used to this uh, little area, it can kind of get a little bit confusing. 
But after you get used to it, you can literally just run around circles endlessly, just killing mobs, picking up transmog gear. It's super simple, super fast, and it's definitely a farm that you guys need to come check out. If you're watching the video now, go do it now before anybody else goes and starts doing it, because I guarantee you the prices are going to drop a good amount here. Um, just so you know, it. I mean, that's, that's really all I had to say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video. And uh, we're going to be in Stormwind, and then I'm going to show you all the items that you can get, or roughly all the items, some of the most valuable items you can get, and uh, other ways that you can make this farm, uh, you know, produce more gold for you in the end. So hopefully you can learn, you know, a thing or two, and uh, hopefully pick up some transmog pieces like I've just been constantly doing throughout this video. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut the video now, and we will see you in Stormwind. Alright everybody, so as you can see we are in Stormwind now. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just basically go over some of the gear that you're able to get. You're able to get the uh, different transmog sets that are the Ravenger set, the Trickster set, the Warden set, you know, Stonecloth, Dark Mist, uh, Sparkle Shell, Salt Stone, Steadfast, Symbolic. It's, it, you, you can go through just so many different sets of transmog just from that one little farm. And they all sell for around anywhere from like 2k up to you know those plans that could sell up for potentially to 100k so when you just run this dungeon over and over and over again or not dungeon sorry this uh, little location over and over again killing those den whompers it is 100 percent worthwhile now as soon as battle for azeroth comes out if you're watching this video when battle for azeroth did release then honestly don't do this farm watch whatever video i just posted about battle for azeroth and do that farm because this one will not be nearly as profitable as any battle for azeroth farm that comes out but just know that this is something you can do now to pop up your gold revenue and help you at the beginning of battle for azeroth and this is one of my personal favorite farms that i kind of don't bring out into the light um, I do that with a few farms of my own that I don't just bring out into the light just for the fact that if I did the markets would be ruined and I kind of want to keep you know the markets up a little bit for some people and you know of course myself in some situations but I do bring you guys things that I probably shouldn't be showing you now this is an older farm uh, so I definitely recommend you go do it now um, you know, you can also just pick up some extra gold right before Battle for Azeroth drops. And if you get that stuff on the auction house, I expect you guys will sell it off quite quickly with the release of a new expansion. We're at a special time in World of Warcraft where transmog farming can be one of the most acceptable and like, uh, has the biggest gold potential out of any other farm right now is uh, doing transmog farms because as soon as the new influx of players comes in from Battle for Azeroth, you're going to make tons of gold. In addition with those tips, uh, always make sure you bring Bear Tartar with you to that uh, dungeon, or not dungeon, sorry, that location, and just running around that circle is the easiest way to do it. Uh, the extra little tip I can give you guys is to go uh, counterclockwise, because that's the easiest way to the, run the dungeon. Uh, you guys probably saw me earlier in the video struggling with that little ledge. That little ledge is super annoying. If you guys go counterclockwise from the beginning of the instance, you, or not instance, the little area, you won't ever have to hit that, and it will never be an issue for you. So I definitely recommend you go counterclockwise. So just remember, go counterclockwise, get bear tartar, any kind of speed improvement buffs you can, and just stand there, run around, and kill everything over and over again. Now, just so you know, it is a questing area. And uh, the people that quest there are normally horde players uh, that are working through Thousand Needles and, st you know, stuff like that. So if you do have a horde player, uh, uh, you know, questing through there and he is on war mode, don't kill him. Because I had the opportunity to do that many times with, like, level 55 players that were just trying to quest through there. Be a nice guy. Don't gank people that are just trying to quest through with war mode on to get some extra XP, please. Because it, it makes it awful for them. Okay, and I know that I wouldn't like it. So definitely just be considerate, obviously. Um, I can't tell you not to do it because if I do that, then obviously people are going to do it. But just be careful, guys. Don't don't make anybody too angry. And uh, yeah, so that's really all there is for the farm. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about the channel, upcoming events, just good stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so if you did watch this far into the video, um, I want you to comment down below what you are most excited for with Battle for Azeroth. Be that gold making, content, anything. What are you most excited about? I want to hear because I'm looking for new topics to cover. Also, if you guys have any other topics that you guys think I should cover uh, other than gold farming, like, you know, farming rare mounts or something like that along those lines in uh, World of Warcraft, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to uh, new ideas. 
uh, you know, and if I u end up using your idea, then, you know, I'll credit you in the end. So definitely, you know, keep a lookout for that, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so now basically what's going to happen is I took the release date of Battle for Azeroth off work and like the surrounding days around that so I could just push as much content as possible for you guys uh, as soon as possible. And with Battle for Azeroth releasing super soon, um, I should be able to get tons of stuff out for you guys. And I think you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. So uh, that's all I really had to say for today's video. If you did like the video, uh, maybe leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe down below. Also, check out the links I put in the description below. I've got like all my computer gear, all that good stuff. I've got my Twitter down there. Everything you guys need to know is in the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, so that's it, everybody. It's King Kunta, and I will see you tomorrow with the next video. Bye.